what is up legends we are back and we are back and you already know artery gear all right so what i want to do is a little bit nerdy but if you're new to the channel as always we do three to four videos every day um like and subscribe if you like the content after you watch a little while of course um and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the gaming loop now, um, those of you who don't know what the gaming loop is, the gaming loop is basically what makes the game flow and how well does the game flow. Now, the gaming loop in this game is actually extremely good and they help you with two specific things to actually push you towards the gaming loop if you pay attention to it. So on the first one right here is a rookie training. What rookie training basically does literally from stage one is push you and tell you hey you need to do all these things right here you're gonna get all this free stuff including gear which makes it so that you don't have to actually farm the gear especially when it comes to your dps so for what i do with a team is i have a single target dps which i will show you my team now make this as quick as possible for you guys my single target is ginga which you see is at level 56 right now she is my first six star by the way um and they kind of help and push you towards the six star. I'll explain how I got that six star um, after we get done with this. Uh, and my AOE is Benny. Um, I would like uh, Suri, or your, or what, Suri? Um, to actually do that, or if I get the other AOE cat, uh, character. But, you know, Benny is working fine for now. Um, Benny actually buffs everybody's attack, so that's pretty good. And is this is this a really good unit? And then of course you saw me get shy yesterday, Shayura. Um, Shayura is actually in the bruiser spot or the tank slot. You could put a tank there. But what I noticed in this game, and just a heads up for you guys, bosses ignore the hell out of the tank, even when it taunts. Bosses basically are gonna AOE like very few of them single target. They're gonna AOE right through it. Even if they do single target, they do straight line, which basically attacks everybody behind whoever the tank is anyway. So I was like, what is the point? If like, like what is the point? Is just sitting there being tanky and doing no damage? So I'm gonna go bruiser instead, which is what Shy is doing. And then Heron, which you saw I got yesterday, um, is an excellent healer. And I'm going speed with Heron. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right there. It's um, pretty much a balanced team with a hybrid type of um, bruiser character. And what that actually does is because I'm using um, Shy as a bruiser character, she has the lifesteal when she basically heals back whatever um, damage she actually gets done to her, which makes her more tanky, but she also is doing a lot of damage even with the heal set. I mean, with the, uh, the lifesteal set, so it actually works out. And I got some good crit on her and everything else like that. But back to this, um, like I was saying, they, it gives you gear. So as long as you go through along this line and it pushes you through, you're going to actually get gear and get resources to actually go through the game. As you guys can see right here, like it, it pretty much is teaching you and telling you where to actually go. Now, there's a few caveats and things that um, get you stuck. Gaming loops basically uh, will put you on a straight line through the game, like as long as you follow the loop. So following the loop basically is going through the story, whatever this tells you to do, rookie training, then you go off and you go do it. However, they also have this, which you also notice that I have done this type of stuff, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's go back to, uh, actually, I don't even think I it will allow me to go back and look at it, but let's pretend we went back to step one. Step one will also do the same thing that the rookie training actually did. It'll give you things that you need to do, whether it be like up here, like target eliminations or things like that. And you should actually go ahead and do them because there's a lot of resources in here. And as you can see right there, there's a five star um, bot right there that I can use for my next five star character. And then there's some EXP right there that I can use um, to get myself to 60 on my Ginga. Uh, this is for gear right here this one right here so we're gonna snatch all this real quick there's the five star bot and then exp and then it just leaves me with target eliminations which i need to do um 13 more to get that fifty thousand coin um need to log in tomorrow to get this so i can't do anything about that and then upgrade a ag 
technology to five. Now we're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, and complete 15 exercises, this is PVP. And I just need to fight five more times. I've been doing five a day and then forget about it because I've been just too busy having fun everywhere else. So with that said, now that you know that you should pay attention to rookie training and uh, pre-mission briefing, what that basically means is you're going to have a certain point where stuff is going to be stronger with you or not stronger with you. So here's another part of the gaming loop. You want to pay attention to data collection. Data collection, uh, as you can see, I have the blue one right here. When I was on green, I got green all the way up into the point of being, uh, let's show you real quick. Going to Herod and down to technology. So you see now I have it all the way up to this point. So technically I can actually do this if I had farmed for that, but I was too busy doing other things um, to actually, and then I wasn't 50 yet anyway. But in order to actually get this, you need to actually get to stage seven. Stage seven is around 10,000 power. And what that does is allow you to actively farm these so even if you can't get to stage eight and can't beat stage eight you can do stage seven because what you can do at that point is you can turn around and fuse the blue ones let's go over here as you can see i have 28 of them. i'm not going to do that right now but you can infuse the blue ones into the purple ones which are higher just takes a little bit of farming and then you'll be able to get to that stage what you really really want to do now that I have blue out here like that right now, so you guys can see this, we'll just go in there real quick and smack this down because they, they're just going to smack it down real quick. You want to go as far as you can for that particular day because you, once that day is over and it goes to the next day, you can't go back. So you want to go as far as you can with whatever element. If you're using those particular, oh, she's probably going to want, yeah, one shot dead. <laughs> So you want to go as far as you can in this, which I literally is probably be able to do right now. So let's hit that, hit that next. You also get achievements for doing that. So during that day, if you have two blue character or, or blue team, or maybe you want to go mono blue or something, whatever you want to do for that particular day, make sure that you farm and that's what you pay attention to for that day that you can get every character that you want up to the stage five or stage six at that point. Well, stage four, stage five, stage, stage six is kind of axing a lot this early. What that does is gonna get you very much within the power loop. And like you guys know, as far as uh, with these types of games, when you're within power, there's a hidden modifier. It happens in every single game that within, well, as long as you're within power, you actually have a chance of actually winning. Even if you're 500 down, you have a chance to win. Um, if you're like, a thousand or two thousand down what ends up happening is this ga games like this always have a modifier that you're now weaker than what the game content wants and they'll hit you harder they literally do that every single game every single game gotcha gotcha game does that and um they don't really explain it but every single game does that because they use the same type of math modifiers and when you're stronger you hit harder basically it's just the way that it is. It's how these games work. And this game works the same way, too. You, you just have to be like if something says right now, my efficiency is at 11,000 right now. If it says 12,600, I still have a chance to actually win because that's under the 1,000. But if it says 12,700, they're going to hit me harder. And it won't even make sense because you'll think that your team is good, you got good defense, and they'll still smack you because that's the modifier kicking in because you're not the right power. That's what the recommended power thing is for. Um, if you guys um, never knew that that was a thing, now you do. It's been like that for 15 years, boy. <laughs> like, so, you know, just... Um, what changes is um, how lenient the modifier is going up and going down. In different games but i noticed in this game this game is a, it's about a thousand that you can pull things out when it when it starts getting over a thousand fifteen hundred they start cheating <laughs> so like just it just is what it is at that point 
now you can actually bump that threat um that trend like you still remember if you guys remember a psyche memories and what happened in that game where you had stun meta where you can stun the and the, um, the teams and then they just couldn't do anything now you kind of could do that in this game with the character that's in the banner right now which is one of the reasons why i can get her because she does breakdown and breakdown causes stun so they can't actually cheese you if they can't hit you so you get the gist of that but you kind of get it right there. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is target elimination. Target elimination, try to go as far as you can in this and far as you can in the story. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is, is because that affects a store. And what that essentially, like, I, there's no way that I'm going to beat 13,000. Um, I actually beat the 11,000 one on all of these, the stage six. Um, this one not so much because Iron Maiden is a pain in the ass. I have to change my team to do that. And this one I beat early too before I was even at eleven thousand because again that modifier um, didn't kick in because I was within a high enough power to actually beat it. I think I was like at ten thousand nine hundred and I still was able to get through. But the reason why you want to do this as soon as possible and not farm this until you get to this point which is very important going back to rookie training because rookie training is going to give you free gear so you don't have to actually farm and waste stamina on that so you can use stamina on something else like maybe the assure of it or maybe or if you want to um exp gamble which is what i call it going into the exp zone when you don't have any more tries which is how i got Ginga to where she's at right now i just pushed her to that point on purpose also pushes your level also gives you gold so there's really not that much of a negative to do that even as a free to play because you basically are making a carry character um with that said what you can now do is when you head over to here now again this is my my way of doing this um what i got away with and cn and jp and I'm actually almost back to the point that I was at in CN and JP. So I'm going to be in Newfoundland soon. I'm I'm almost back to that point. But you notice right there, I have a five star in here. And what essentially ends up happening is, is that you basically get to look at it and see what it is. So see, like this is crit damage right here. Five star crit damage. Now, sometimes when you get it far enough, and if you get far enough in the actual um, stages to get to the point which you'll see at 13K. Let's go to this one. My next stage, this is where all the good stuff starts happening. But you gotta get within that power to actually do that. Now, if you have somebody to stun you might be able to eke it out, which is why we're trying. We're going to try to summon and get her and find a way to actually win. It is possible, but it's hard. You just you literally got to CC to make sure that they don't hit you. Same thing right here. You see, like, this is where all the good stuff is. And the cool thing is, is that you can refresh a couple of times and get to this point. So, see, I don't want any of this, so I'm going to refresh. Um, and the 28% is it has a higher chance of actually giving you really good stuff. So we are going to refresh again. Because I can just easily go fight and get this stuff. So I'm just typically not going to do that. Now you get free refreshes every day, by the way. So you should use them for the most part. I didn't use all of mine yesterday. I think I had a few left over. And again, we're gambling and we're trying to get to this point. There we go. And um, this turned into a gold. Uh, let's go into here. And this is a good set. I'm actually, I'm copying this. And it turns something interesting. And the reason why it's interesting is because this is actually tanky. Because it gives you status resist and HP. Not the kind that I would want. So I would probably have to kind of like invest and change stuff around in this. But I'm definitely going to keep it. So now that's sold out. And we got another one. 
This one is uh, a heart. Uh, I'm not going to do this one because I don't want that. Mm. Okay, so there we go again. Is this the reposit one? I think this is the reposit one. Yeah. Um, so this is counterattack. And it's a four... Um, how much gold do I have? I think I, I I might do that one. Oh, my gold is trash. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I, I'll just leave that there. We'll come back to that. So, yeah. So I hope you guys get that. Uh, that is one of the reasons why you want to push like that. And the further that you push in the store, the easier it is going to actually be. Oh, we're getting gold back right now for pushing along that line. So. So again, the um, further you push along in this, the easier all that's going to be. Now, moving over to Mutual Waypoint and Lowerus. Mutual um, Waypoint, well, while you're actually farming here, and when you actually farm, you notice that the power is kind of low, but it allows you to actually pick up a few things which are pretty interesting. Now, you see, I already got the weekly limit on that, but you got gear upgrades, and me personally, I always snatch this because you need energy every day, so just might as well just snatch it to begin with. And now a cool thing about this is when you come in here, you notice this isn't costing you any energy to actually come in here. So here's a tease that you can actually do. If you get a new character that is a five star, bring that character in here with your other already built characters. And because the power recommended level is so low, they'll carry that character. And when you beat stuff, you still actually get EXP. Same thing goes with Lava Rift. Lava Rift is trash as far as the recommended power. So when you come in here, let me show you this real quick, real fast. Game, don't you dare. I was to say, why, why you stop? Why the stopping? So what I did when I got Heron is I actually, for the most part, didn't use an EXP cat on her up until like level 40. I kind of just left her there and I think it was maybe level 37. She leveled on her own actually just being out there and the other three characters carried her like through everything. And that saved me a lot of needing to actually do anything with her. You can do that with um, all the characters for the most part. Also another thing that um, I like to do is I like to leave it on attack boss first for the PVE stages during the stages because for the most part, what ends up happening is when you kill the boss, the stage is over. Now you'll notice Ginga got EXP right there. Um, the other three don't because they're already stuck at 50. But she got EXP and that didn't cost me any energy so essentially this even though you can't really go back essentially this is a free way to level up characters without actually using cats just to let you guys know so yeah also what i'm doing right now is i'm combining like i don't want to make four different videos and have to spam all day like like i, I hate doing that so we're doing this all in like a one video of what I've been doing and how I got to this point because I've been getting people DMing me like, dude, how the hell are you level 35 already? Like, are you wailing? Like, dog, I'm, I'm not wailing. Like, <laughs> I spent $10. That's it. That's what we all do now. 10, 10 bucks. Um, Level 35? Give me that. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm cooking over forty like I am level forty. I ain't no damn over forty.
Okay, so another thing that you want to um, pay attention to is your alliance. You see, this is our alliance right now. I have people that need, need to get in here, but what we're going to go to is over here. Right here, you'll notice that you also have backup energy over here. Wherever I see backup energy, give me. <laughs> like immediately, like immediately. You also have your own weekly limit right here, and you also have another five star um, that you can use right there. So if or you can just ignore energy if you want to and then go straight for the five star. You also have gear upgrade stuff right here and then a three star and a four star. Now, speaking of that, that is how I ended up getting to uh, get Ginga up to be in the five star because they give you a whole hell of a lot of these. <laughs> Like you get a lot of those. So you see, I got this down here. And what you can essentially do is you can use these characters right here and break them into like five stars. Like, see, they're already maxed. This is already max. No, this one isn't maxed. I made this one. Uh, let me see. Is there one here that's already maxed? This one. So what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll use one of the kitties. Bam. So now this is a four star. And then what you can do from there is you can level it if you want to, which or you can do it the freeway like I just showed you and drag one of the um the characters into a stage to farm with the other characters being that almost all my characters are going to be exp capped anyway i'm just wasting the exp so i might as well just drag these in and let them get exp that way and pick a stage that you feel that you can actually finish and go along that line like when you don't have anything else to do if you got stuff to do don't do that but you see i only needed this much and then i could push this to 40 and then I could turn around and bring the other four stars that you saw me make. And then I got another five star, basically, to go along with who, whichever character that I want to be next to go to six stars. So I hope you guys um, understand that. That's how I got my characters. And I was using um, the three star blue characters to kind of help out with that as well to make it go faster. We got mail and it must be they giving out something. Yep, commemoration gift for exceeding 30K followers. Nice. Ooh, more energy and summons, take it. <laughs> Thank you game. All right, um, I think we are pretty much done besides fleet. I think I've told you everything that I want to tell you. Uh, make sure that you pay attention to this when you're coming to upgrade this. Uh, make sure that you come back and snatch all of this stuff and make sure that expiration ship that you are paying attention to this and always sending them out because this levels up pretty fast and will become very beneficial later. In the beginning, it's trash. You don't really care about it. But as it starts to build and you start getting better places, it starts getting really lucrative for you and beneficial the same thing with the supply the same thing with the armament ship um you definitely want to go in and make sure that you are upgrading this um i can't do anything with that because this is 150k and i am broke goal wise right now so that's the thing and yeah so we're gonna summon now and then we're gonna get out of here because i talked long enough and my voice is tired let's go to recoup Um, so we need Milvis. That's what we are here for. Where are we at now? Like, I just started summoning this banner, so. Milvis, you can do me a favor and come out quick. Not this one. Alright, so we're going to skip that. Um... Corex and nope. Um, where? Uh, let's see here. 
always forget where the hell this is at. Actually, I can't do it that way. I was trying to be slick, but they ain't gonna work. So whatever, just use it. Well, we got somebody new. Is it gonna be her though? Nah. That's a lot of purple. I actually wanna look at this. I'm actually not going to use Alice because too many people are acting like they can't play the game without Alice and I ain't about to be about that life so she's going to sit bench because I'm tired of people picking one character and acting like oh she's the new character she's sexy though like we we not having that Lucy nonsense in this game too. Got two of them. And th this it's just because I freaking said her name. You still sitting bent. Okay. Oh, that's good. This is good. But I don't get her. I could just use her. Probably will do that anyway. Because it's easy to build her. Remember, guys, there is always... Oh, well, she's new. There is always different ways to play a game you don't have to actually go crazy just because somebody said one character is meta i see people doing that too much with alice now so we're gonna cut that shit out real quick <laughs> real quick and i'm gonna personally show you that it ain't that serious because it wasn't that serious for me and jp or cn it's not gonna be that serious here either so I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here and we're going to rock and I will see you guys tomorrow unless something happens. If something happens, then, you know, we'll, we'll be different, but you see the team and what I want to actually do. Scroll down is what I might end up doing is just using Ruri because I might see more beneficial things coming from trying to use at least one four star. I might be um, doing too much trying to use all four early game, but we'll see. Cause I, I definitely want to keep summoning and see if I can just get more of the character. And um, once I get Ginga up to 60 and everything, what I'm gonna do is then I'm just gonna allow this character to basically be carried in and get leveled for free basically and then um use her dupe to help level her and then she'll be five and then we'll work on getting her up to six and all that type of stuff uh, that might be more feasible then i could turn around and use my currency for energy and keep farming that way i really did want to get um it was because she has the breakdown stun and that's super good especially in pvp um pve it works really well as well so we'll see i'll probably keep summoning and keep trying but for now catch you guys next video be legendary good luck to you and everything and hopefully you get all the characters whether it be um shy or um alice or whoever you want peace Thank you, Legends, for getting to the end of the video. We do three to four videos every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be first in the notification squad. I love everybody who stops by, and I will see you next video. Peace.